Forget everything you thought you knew about the electric vehicle race. The narrative we've been sold for over a decade that Tesla is the undisputed king of EV innovation is crumbling before our eyes. The 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition, 2025, just tore the veil off a new global truth. China isn't catching up anymore. It's speeding past the competition, rewriting the rules, and reshaping the entire EV landscape in real time. The 21st Shanghai International Industry Exhibition took place in Shanghai, China. The 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition 2025 took place in Shanghai, China, specifically at the National Exhibition and Convention Center, NECC. This massive venue is one of the world's largest exhibition complexes and is a regular host for major international events, including the biennial Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition. This isn't just a car show recap. It's a wake-up call. China's automakers aren't content with imitation. They're pushing boundaries, delivering jaw-dropping tech, and moving from the sidelines to center stage. From flying cars to robo-taxis, from ultra-luxury EVs to shockingly affordable game-changers, what we saw in Shanghai marks a seismic shift in the industry. And as Tesla remains curiously quiet, the question is no longer if China will dominate the EV future, but how fast that dominance will arrive. Subscribe now, because the future of transportation is unfolding before our eyes and you won't want to be left behind. Welcome to the future. The 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition 2025. The 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition wasn't just another auto exhibition. It was a bold declaration held across multiple high-tech pavilions and sprawling digital arenas. The event wasn't about tweaking old ideas. It was about tearing up the script entirely. Smart mobility, electrification, AI, renewable energy integration. It was all on display, not as concept art, but as near-term reality. Chinese automakers weren't asking if the future will arrive. They were showing us that it's already here. The shift was impossible to ignore. Where once Western automakers dominated with showpiece models and cutting-edge reveals, this year saw muted displays and absent icons. Tesla, once the face of electrification, was conspicuously quiet. Meanwhile, China's brands, BYD, Xpeng, Nio, Zeker, Avatar, and more, stole the spotlight with confidence and creativity that felt effortless. Subscribe for more global innovation insights, because what you're seeing in China today could be what hits your driveway tomorrow. BYD, from underdog to global titan. Let's start with the brand everyone's watching now, BYD. What once seemed like a niche Chinese battery firm quietly assembling economy cars has now transformed into the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer by volume, a title that was once synonymous with Tesla. But BYD isn't just catching up. It's redefining the entire Sissy game. No longer playing underdog, it's setting the pace and forcing the rest of the industry, especially legacy automakers, to reconsider what EV leadership actually looks like in 2025. The centerpiece of BYD's jaw-dropping showcase at the 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition was the Yang Wang U8, a luxury SUV that throws the traditional rulebook out the window. This is not just a high-end electric off-roader, it's a technological marvel. With amphibious driving capabilities, the U8 can float and maneuver through floodwaters, making it as functional in a natural disaster as it is on a red carpet. This feature, combined with independent four-wheel torque control, allows for 360-degree tank turns, 
perfect for navigating treacherous terrain or tight urban environments. Add to that a suite of advanced terrain intelligence systems, and you've got a vehicle that feels more like a survival pod from the future than a luxury SUV. But BYD didn't stop there. The Yang Guang Yi 9 turned heads with its blistering speed, going from 0 to 100 km per hour in under two seconds. Yet, what truly amazed the audience wasn't just the performance, it was the flair. Equipped with a cutting edge adaptive suspension system, the U9 can literally jump, bounce, and dance to music. As crowds gathered to watch this million-dollar hypercar groove like a concert headliner, it was clear. BYD isn't just building fast cars. It's reimagining the emotional experience of driving. Still, the boldest move came with the BYD Seagull. Priced at under $10,000, this compact EV features over 300 kilometers of range, smart infotainment, and standard safety technology. While Tesla continues struggling to push its Model 3 below the $30,000 mark, BYD has already made electric mobility both affordable and desirable without cutting corners. This isn't a budget compromise. It's a mass market revolution, and it's already here. Xping's tech leap, flying cars, and AI pilots. Xping arrived at the 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition, determined to blur the line between science fiction and today's reality. And they succeeded. The brand didn't just display cars. It offered a bold vision of urban mobility that left traditional automakers scrambling to catch up. Front and center was the Xping Aero HT, their highly anticipated flying car prototype. Unlike past concepts that felt like vaporware, this machine is shockingly real. With foldable rotors, a lightweight carbon fiber frame, and true vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capability, the Aero HT is engineered for actual flight. And not just in theory, Xping has already conducted successful flight tests and revealed concrete plans to launch low-altitude urban flight corridors in pilot Chinese cities by 2026. This isn't a distant dream. It's imminent urban aviation, aimed squarely at transforming daily commutes by lifting them off the gridlocked roads below. But Xpeng didn't stop at taking to the skies. Back on the ground, the X9 MPV stunned crowds with a bold reimagination of what a family vehicle could be. It boasts a full-width digital cockpit, modular seating that adjusts like premium furniture, and voice-activated AI that controls nearly every function, from navigation and entertainment to temperature and lighting. The interior is spacious, minimal, and smart, turning the car into a multifunctional living space. Subscribe to stay ahead, because when flying cars are real and robot drivers are smarter, you'll want to know first, NIO, the AI experience and battery swapping revolution. While many automakers at the 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition flaunted horsepower, flying rotors, or ultra-budget EVs, NIO chose a different route, one focused not on specs, but on experience. Instead of overwhelming visitors with tech jargon, NIO invited them to feel what a car could become when designed around human emotion, comfort, and seamless interaction. At the heart of this philosophy is the NIO ET9, a luxury electric sedan that redefines automotive minimalism. Stepping into the ET9 doesn't feel like entering a vehicle. It feels like arriving at a wellness retreat. The cabin is whisper quiet, flooded with soft natural light through a panoramic smart glass roof that adapts to lighting conditions intelligent ambient illumination, ergonomic massage seats, and a streamlined, clutter-free interface turn every ride into a calming escape from the chaos outside. It's less cockpit 
more sanctuary. But the real star is Nomi, NIO's emotionally intelligent AI co-pilot. Unlike the robotic utilitarian voice assistants found in most cars, especially Tesla's, Nomi has personality. It recognizes facial expressions, understands tone of voice, and even responds to emotional cues. If you're stressed, it might lower the lights, cue up a relaxing playlist, and quietly reroute you to avoid traffic. Over time, Nomi learns your habits and anticipates your needs, not just executing commands, but offering true companionship. It's not about having a smart car. It's about having a thoughtful one. Then there's NIO's game-changing battery-swapping network, the crown jewel of its ownership ecosystem. While most EV manufacturers are racing to build faster chargers, NIO sidestepped the waiting game entirely. Their solution? Fully automated battery swaps. Just pull into a station, and within three minutes, your depleted battery is replaced with a fully charged one. No waiting, no plugging in. As of 2025, NIO has completed over 40 million swaps and plans to operate more than 4,000 swap stations globally by 2026. It's worth noting, Tesla once explored battery swaps back in 2013 and then quietly shelved the idea. NIO, on the other hand, perfected it, scaled it, and now owns the most convenient refueling solution in the EV world, Zeker, Avatar, and the new luxury code. Luxury isn't dead, it's being redefined. Zeker's new flagship, the Zeker 007, brought elegance and edge together in a sleek electric sedan. With face recognition ignition, suicide doors, full windshield heads-up display, and AI-assisted drive controls, it didn't just turn heads, it turned expectations. It's designed not just for tech lovers, but for fashion-forward, digitally native consumers who demand more from their machines. Then came Avatar, an emerging luxury EV brand backed by Huawei and CATL. Their Avatar 12 was less of a car and more of a digital sanctuary with touch-sensitive surfaces no physical buttons, and interior materials inspired by nature. The cabin radiated tranquility and control. The tech inside, AR windshield projections, biometric sensors, and self-tinting smart glass makes every drive a personalized, immersive experience. And the prices? They're aggressive, up to 30% cheaper than their Western equivalents. Avatar and Zeker aren't chasing the taillights of BMW and Tesla. They're rewriting what luxury looks and feels like. Robotaxes and the age of autonomous China. Quietly and almost without fanfare, China's robotaxi revolution is already here. Pony.ai, Baidu, Apollo, and AutoX delivered live demos of fully autonomous vehicles driving with no human input. These weren't isolated test tracks. These were simulated urban environments with intersections, pedestrians, delivery carts, and unpredictability. The Baidu Apollo RT6 stood out in particular a steering wheel free EV minivan built specifically for ride hailing. It's not just a prototype, it's already operating in select Chinese cities. Designed with modular interiors, it can shift between passenger transport, mobile shops, or delivery pods. It's smart city infrastructure on wheels, where Western countries still argue over legislation and ethics. China has embraced a whole-of-government approach. Regulation, infrastructure, and public awareness campaigns are aligned. Robotaxes in China aren't a what-if, they're a what-now. Hit subscribe, because when self-driving vehicles are real and on the road, you won't want to be learning about it secondhand. Tesla's silence.
a loud absence. And then there's Tesla, the company that once redefined electric vehicles with Silicon Valley swagger, was completely absent from the 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition. That's right, Tesla, which operates one of its most important gigafactories right in Shanghai, chose not to attend the most influential EV showcase in the world's largest auto market. This wasn't just a scheduling conflict. This was symbolic. Tesla's absence came at a time when Chinese consumers, who once flocked to foreign brands, are now increasingly loyal to their homegrown champions. The era when domestic cars were seen as second rate is over. Chinese buyers are choosing BYD, NIO, Xpeng, and Zeker over foreign-backed companies like Tesla. It's not just patriotism, it's performance, price, and prestige. Simply put, the Chinese market no longer needs validation from the West. While local brands dazzled the crowd with flying cars, AI co-pilots, battery swapping, and futuristic design, Tesla offered no new models, no upgrades, and no announcements, no presence. In the country where it manufactures hundreds of thousands of cars each year, Tesla made no appearance at all. That silence echoed loudly. It sent a message. Tesla isn't leading anymore. It's reacting. And in the high-speed world of EVs, reacting is just another word for falling behind. The New World Order of Cars the 21st Shanghai International Automobile Industry Exhibition wasn't about cars. It was about power, influence, vision. It was a loud and clear signal that the age of American EV dominance is waning. What was once made in China is now imagined in China. Innovation is no longer Western-led and Eastern-copied. It's being pioneered in China, manufactured at scale, and prepared for global takeover. From BYD's amphibious marvels to Xping's flying prototypes, from NIO's emotionally intelligent cabins to Baidu's autonomous fleets, China is setting the pace and, increasingly, the standards. Tesla may still be the face of EVs to the average consumer, but behind the scenes, the race has changed. New players have emerged, the game has evolved, and the scoreboard is being rewritten. So let's be honest. The EV future isn't coming from Silicon Valley anymore. It's accelerating out of Shanghai, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen. Subscribe now for more global tech deep dives because the future isn't waiting and it definitely isn't standing still. The final turn. The world's roads are changing. What you drive tomorrow may not come from the brands you grew up with. It may not even have a steering wheel. It may talk to you, fly you home, or swap its own battery in less time than it takes to grab a coffee. And that future? It's being built now in China. Goodbye, Tesla supremacy. Hello, the new world order of electric innovation. Subscribe, because this is just the beginning. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this has been Kimlude Media.